How does evidence-based public health relate to planning and evaluating a program? These elements are the results that we want at the end of the day. So, how do we use evidence to develop a solid plan for our programs so that we know if they worked, why they did or didn't work, how they can be improved, and what we can learn from them? This framework is similar to the one used in the MAP process in community assessment, which is why it was chosen. There are multiple frameworks. There is not one right or wrong framework. The first five tabs are part of the planning stage, while the final two tabs are part of the evaluation process. During this step, define the problem and develop an initial statement of the issue. This will give you a goal to work towards. This initial statement can, and probably will, be changed as you progress through this process. During this step, you need to nail down how severe the problem is and what needs to be done to address the issue. Again, this may be changed later, but you should have a pretty good idea about what's going on in the community. Next, search the scientific literature to see if this problem was addressed by anyone else. You will probably find a lot of information. Go through it all and organize the information you plan to use to make claims. Develop and prioritize program options by using the scientific information you've collected. Develop an action plan and implement interventions. Remember from MAP, this part takes time, but is one of the most rewarding aspects of the process. And remember that you should plan for evaluation of the program and dissemination of results. Evaluate the program or policy to see if you are achieving your goals. If not, make adjustments to your action plan. Once you get to this point, it's time to share your results. Disseminate your results to other public health organizations or write an article for publication in a journal.